Ooh, look, springtime. Three months since Christmas, Saturday the 25th of March 2017. Time 06.34 hours. mean time. British summertime starts tomorrow. I'm going to put it in Cardiff. Petrol and diesel down. That's a big cheese this side of the glass. It all looks rather nice. Oh well, it's going to be a festival of something. Coffee. Mmm. Doing an Alan dig at trafficshun.com. She's just at trafficshun. I must spend years logging on for Wi-Fi. Because they have multiple devices anyway. I also have Blackberry Porter by Mordens. I must say they have a really good selection of guest ales on here at the moment. Probably about five or six. Anyway, Blackberry Porter Mordens, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Nice bit of carpet, nice bit of sun, Mr. Mammon. Okay, got a bit, still got a bit of a sore throat. Bitter sweet blackberry taste. Burnt notes in the finish. Not particularly big finish, but I like that. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, quite bitter finish. B plus in a bit. Really good start. And being blackberry, one of my five a day. This is number two when I've gone on to halves, to improve my stats of course. This is Charm Circle by Caledonian, I think owned by Heineken, 4.4% alcohol by volume. Well presented. Mm, nice body. Slightly citrusy, lemony finish. Refreshing, a bit tingly, a bit acidic. Mm, difficult between B plus and B plus and B. Yeah, the lemony, citrusy finish, B plus and a bit. Centennial, what M O R D. I sent off for my volume. Golden. The amber, but you know. Mmm, smell. Super sweet coffee. Mmm, huge hit of lemon. I feel like a lot. And it's got a nice body, not thin at all. Be person a bit. It's a good day. Well, the sun's out, it's bright, but it is a chill wind. And I'm off that way. I'm thinking bag of chips and Dorothy's to start. Yeah. And depending on the time, possibly the city arms. Dorothy's, where I am no longer the mayor. Westgate Street. And the City Arms. I think it's City Arms first, and then we will hop on top. I'm not really sure. Summer Gazas and Summer Sues. Anyway, um, this is from the Loch Lomond Brewery. 
it's 4% alcohol by volume, and I desperately try and remember, I think it's Summer Summit, Southern Summit. I'm just having a half, but it's excellent. It's quite cool. But works well. Acidic, lemony, refreshing. And if there was less of a wind, I think it would be perfect. Mm. E plus plus. Highway to the Grange Zone. Road in conjunction with the Grange Pub. This is Crafty Devil Brewing from Cardiff, 5.7% alcohol by volume. It's keg. And I would take a bet that it's naturally cloudy. Mmm, not quite sure what that smells of. Oh, very tingly. Big fruity finish. They said pineapple, I'm not sure if it's pineapple, but it's certainly some sort of yellow fruity thing. Deep less than a bit. Not bad though. At 5.7 percent. Got this place. And so on. So we do a cool white balance. And I'm on the dazzle. First, it's got quite a bit of pop pop drawn to the same percent of the by gold. Dark amber. Hey, flags, Mr. Man. Nice and poppy. Okay, really speaking, this got some plus. Yeah, B plus plus. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, American Grey from Grey Trees. It's a collab actually, or well, it says it's a collab, or conjunction with. So it may not be a collab with a cask beer company. Anyway, 4.5% alcohol by volume, American Pale Ale. These are from Tiki Land. Abadir to everyone else. Well, past Abadir. It's nice. I can get a sort of honey taste, sweetness to it. But I expect it a lot better. It's got a like, um, citrusy. Light citrusy finish, touch of bitterness in there, but just B plus. I really did expect a lot better.